Chapter 6 is about using the standard deviation as a ruler and about the normal model. So the normal model is one of the most important models in statistics and it's used quite frequently in both statistics and life. So this is probably not the only time you'll actually ever see it. But before we talk about either of those, we're actually going to talk about how we can alter data. The first way is by shifting data. So shifting data is just adding or subtracting a constant to each of your data values. All it does is it adds or subtracts that same amount from any measure of position. By measure of position, we mean like the center, the minimum or the maximum values, your quartiles, any of those. So when you put the numbers in order and you add everything to it, everything shifts in the same way. So if your mean was 10 and you're adding 5 to every value, your mean is now 15. What shifting data does not do is it has no effect on a measure of spread. So let's think about range, for example, because range is just the easiest to deal with. So I'm going to try using the pen. I'm very bad at this. So let's say our minimum value is 1, and our maximum value is going to be 5. So this gives us a range of 4. I'm going to say r equals... Four. Sorry, like I said, bad at the pen. If we add a constant, so let's just say we're adding 10 to every data value. So I add 10, my new minimum becomes 11, but my new maximum becomes 15. This still leaves me with a range of four. So the spread did not change. So when you shift data, it'll change any measure of position, but it'll leave any measure of spread alone. For example, the following histograms show a shift from men's actual weights to weights above the recommended weight. So if we look at the histogram on the left, we can see that the distribution is unimodal and skewed to the right. We have a median value of about, say, around 75, and we have a few outliers. Now, if we shift this, so all we're doing is subtracting um, their weight uh, from their recommended weight. So we end up with a different scale down here, but the distribution remains the same. It is still unimodal and skewed to the right, and our median was just shifted by that recommended weight. The other way that we can alter data is by rescaling it. So where shifting requires us to add or subtract, rescaling is when we are dividing or multiplying. So in this case, when you divide or multiply all of the data values by a constant, everything changes. All measures of position, so the mean, median, percentiles, minimum, maximum, will change by that multiplier. The measures of spread will also change by that same constant. So if you multiply every data value by 2, you multiply everything by 2. The mean by 2, the standard deviation by 2, everything gets multiplied. For example, the men's weight was measured in kilograms, but if we want to think about the weights in pounds instead, we would just rescale the data. I'm not sure what the conversion factor is, but we would just multiply every data value by that conversion factor. It doesn't change the shape, so note that the shape remained the same. It's still unimodal, still skewed to the right. However, everything else did change by that multiplier. The mean changed by that conversion factor. The standard deviation changed by that conversion factor. The range would have changed. So. Here, where the spread is smaller, we end up with a larger spread here. So to sum up, when you're shifting data, you're just adding or subtracting a constant to every data value. It'll change any measure of position, but leave measures of spread the same. Rescaling data requires you to multiply or divide every data value by a constant, and that'll change everything. It'll change both measures of spread and measures of center, by that factor. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in class tomorrow. Have a good night.